There's uh, There's refreshments in the beer in the fridge. Okay, I brought some chocolate. All right, let's bring it in. Okay. Okay, this is EMF charging. <coughs> yeah, this is this is the receiver. Our receiving battery is getting some metrics. 13.01 volts, 6.07 amp hours. It's it's the focus should be like this. Okay, so that is, you know how to use that camera? Okay. Yeah, okay. It's, it's running. It's running already. Okay, so I gotta get a couple more jumpers. Okay. So I don't have enough. Okay, so okay, so in that negative current flow is going this way when the reverse EMF happens. Mm -hmm. So the current flow is going into negative and out positive. It actually hooks up backwards. It, it uh, you know. Okay. But well, it's because of the current flow. Let me just actually bring up that. Okay. You're, you're not. Before you do, I'm going to measure the. Uh, let's get. This is a. Um, this is a micro scanner model D500F. Uh, infrared oh, thermometer. In front of that. Oh, sorry. This is a micro scanner D500F. Micro scanner. Uh, the grandfather of this was used in the, the Sputniks. And this is an absolutely. Uh, accurate infrared um, thermometer it does not require and this is the only make that does not require emissivity adjustments so we're going to measure this I'm getting a 68 are you uh, 68 Fahrenheit so okay well, let's point it. Can, you, can you get it there what, are you getting this so 68. yeah 68? okay yeah. so a resistor without running is at 68 Okay. This is basically what's happening uh, okay. with the reverse EMF charge here. Okay. Can you turn around there, Rod? Look at the screen and point the camera to oh, it. Okay. okay use, use. To me, that looks like AC. We've got positive and negative, but what I have to do is go like this. Maybe. I haven't dealt one of these. I haven't seen that. All I found with this unit here, which is the atoms, um, it has the same you know, reverse EMF dial, and I thought, why not? So what I'm doing now is, um, so that's just running for, it's probably, uh, I don't know if it's enough to measure, but well, let's try it anyway. So, uh, what, how long have we had this running now? About, any Ten idea? Minutes. Ten minutes, maybe? So, what do you say? Ten minutes? I would guess ten minutes. Okay. All right. Uh, so, maybe 22 minutes. So, let's, um, Well, actually, that was start before we did this, so, yeah. I'd say that was running for about... Five, ten minutes okay, we're going to get a reading uh, by the battery capacity meter with the thing running. So there's, I'm going to disconnect it, okay? Yeah, I want to, what I okay. actually, you know, Rob, let's okay. pull out the switch. Yep, leave it. Oops. Yeah, you can pull out the switch now. Oh. We've got no reverse EMF protection when you do that. Oh, okay. So maybe let's shut well, it down. Well, what you can do is just clamp it right on there. Uh, there's going to be a, you know, there might be an effect on the meter. It might, because it's sending something in. Well, why don't we just hook a standard volt meter up to it then? No, we got one. This one capacity as well. It's going to measure capacity. All right. So, so you need to shut it off. Yeah, we got to shut it off. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. So I mean, this is a horizontal output for a TV. You could probably take it anyways, but you know why take a chance? Well, they're usually switching a lot bigger transformers okay. than these little guys. Though. Here we go. 29. Okay, here's the readings. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are... Did we get anything? Yeah, there's a charge there, isn't there? What, what no. did you have before? Wait, wait, wait. 6.28 amp hours. What? What was what before? We have 6.28 amp hours now. 6.07 before. So, so that's got a receiver battery, right? Receiver, yeah. Well, okay, why not? 